So for our international audience, you are going to get your translation as analysis progress. This is very serious. You're about to hear from a prophetess. These prophetess have given a time, effort, energy to go deep into revelation of the RIP of Mubad and the consequences of it. There was a time she spoke about the king that has been fingered in the DNA and, um, you know, she said a lot of things about that. She said, that child, there is a purpose for that child in your life, but you have to do the needful because something is about to happen to you, king. The spirit of Mobad is restless and that spirit is going to act in this way and that way. And also, Wumi, she also said the judgment of God is on her and that not just Wumi alone, that her family, that this judgment is going to deal with them so badly. There is nothing she did not say. And when I connected the dots together, I said, wow. So there is something that God wants to put an end to. Well, without further ado, let us listen to this prophetess. And we will be talking more. But before we proceed, please like and share this video. Let it go viral. Tap on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Very important. Returning subscribers and those that have been here, I say a very big thank you for returning. I say a very big, big, big thank you for being here. I repeat again, tap on the subscription button, it's free. Tap on the notification bell. And to encourage this channel to do more, you can as well tap on the thanks button, the one with the love sign and the dollar in between it. Yes, do tap on it to encourage this channel to do more. Yes, to do more and to do more and more. Let us get right into it. Take care, bomb da da. La ni awon ta ro bi pe alagbara o si si ni nbe o ka won o bale mo ta ba wa wo wi pe ah owo ti won na ti mo ba di nikan ni ero ni awon na ti lo nko owo sile to ti ndi pe ah ba wa ri wi pe asiri wa otu asiri wo ni otu asiri ti tu tele asiri ti obo awon ama alade awon no ba no ba gugu won patapata ko da won adari awon ile o se lu gbogbo won na so pe e ma je ka si ri wa tu e ba wa ri pe won ri dajo igba ero ni e dajo ti du o asiri ti tu gba ngba in tolorun fe foro i se ni pe awon kan ta gbojule wi pe to awon eni o ti to o fe ki won wonu oboji won pelu idamu pelu esin ki iran ti won mo si mo lori ile abe ma ri won awon agbejoro ta ro pe eni bi eyan ni won tele tele ase eni eni asan o wo ni o ti towo won ti ta wa mo luwa bi won sonu ko da awon elewi gan na tin ke gbogbo e lori iro ni e je ke so fun yin ninu orin dafidi ori keje ese kini si karun be e lo gbo nkan ti olorun so ni pa ti won bi pe to won kese won jo looto oni sugbon ohun to nju ko lori te ohun o rerin won ohun o si yo suti si won looto ni akoko yo suti si won re eh bo se sagbasula mo fe ki baba mo badi lona otun sugbon ni pataji julo awon iko ti won ri bi pe agbo iwo foro wa ni lenu wo yen adakun kini baba o baba so e ri bi pe lati pa toro iti wa nle bi osu merin seyin oro e o yi pada in to nwi na ni yen sugbon ti won ata se loni ti won ata se lola nitori pe oro iro ni meji pere loro ti baba mo badi so pe ni si fi se arigbamu o ni eyan olopa e fun wa ni autopsy result oni iwo to pe ra re laye omo mi lo se dna o tan o se wa le dna se wa dogun ko wa ye ni o sugbon kan kan ti mo fe ke mo ni pe e gbo yi ta kerege ti mo fe so fun yin ke ba le mo wi pe dundun lo so oso ehoro ati eh alaba won won ni wi pe e je afi gbagbaga ka we ni to le sareju gbugbu ana la mo pe ehoro lo le sareju sugbon alaba won ologbon ni laarin awon iran ko o wa lo ba awon ebi e saju ojo ti won fi sona wi pe won se fi gagbaga yi o yi gbo yin le ba mi sise papo nitori pe bai kasa bai kawo ni ni won la se won re la won gbo in se lo mu awon ebi e lo to won ni ibuso si ibuso ni okokona ebi ti won gba sa ere ije yi bi e ho ro ba ti wa n sare lo to won wi pe ah ko un sin mi to ba ti sin mi die bai o won alaba won ni o gbo a ba tu kere mole but at the finishing line he met that person there. 
o ba la ba won be nitori pe ogbon oju agbara lo e je ki gbogbo awon to sagba sola o ma sa lori oro yi a gba daju ododo e fi won sile o fe ki won sesin ni agbada esin lo da fun won welcome back she's making it clear to everyone listening that true judgment the right judgment balanced judgment will be found and gotten on mobad and that uh, regardless of um, those who are popular famous people those in authority politicians those connected to politicians such as kings royalties wherever the circle and web of wicked people who are not directly connected to mobad but due to um, the transformers uh, activity via some other you know women that have no job like really have a job but you see them buying expensive houses if you know what i mean aha uh -huh. if you've been on this channel you know what i'm talking about it is not about wumi wumi is nobody wumi's family nobody knows them but wumi used to be part of a circle of some young ladies you know she's young so there are other women who are into you know this benching thing with some you know politician businessmen here and there they will often ask them to recruit younger ladies to 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 transform the untransformable in their lives so women used to be part of them and now that the the, the way women went to transform now ended up into this one that we have now this dna saga this dna issue if Wumi is to go for dna definitely the question will be who is the father of the child Wumi cannot open her mouth because she has been instructed to Keep it quiet and keep it silent. She cannot say it is this person that owns this child. It's not like it's a big deal. After all, no one is going to query or beat up this person. But there is this shroud that they believe must be kept on it. And also, about the RIP of Mobad itself. About the RIP of Mobad itself. There are certain activities that have been that have occurred surrounding Mubad. And these activities is connected to certain other people who are into certain things like substance abuse, trading of it back and forth. They have their protection, police protection, and some other kinds of uh, packages that they run. Should the RIP of Mubad be made public, the autopsy made public, and the cost of RIP and many other things made public? You know, names will come up. And that... Will result into you know a lot of uh, chaos around now she's making it clear that regardless of all these atrocities and cover-up that there is no way that you can run faster than your shadows regardless of how quick you think you are you cannot run faster than your shadows your shadow will always run and always be ahead of you so Whatever it is that they believe they can do to cover up this atrocity or atrocities, every of these things are already out. We all are, we've been talking about it till today. Just the final confession and the evidence surrounding it and many other things. In fact, she's even saying that God wants these people to confess. And of course, we know Mumba's life cannot be brought back, but they should confess about this, confess about that, and make certain things right. If not, what is about to happen to them they will not be around to um to 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 confess anymore now those that have um, looked into the rip of mobad and have um, done extensive uh, research about it and even those who have not even done too much research it's just common sense they've been around the uh, stories that border on mysterious rip here and there they simply asked can we see those that have been those that were around Mobad 48 hours prior to his RIP and after RIP. That frame, they said Mobad had a show. Is it Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. All of those that were around him, they need to be brought in for questioning. But what we observed is the nigerian police manipulation in this cover up in this all of a sudden we were not allowed to see the full clip of the cctv 
they only showed us a little portion of it and they claim that the rest of it is not available and i'm kind of wondering how come they only had that portion where the nurse came in with Wumi opening the door how come that is all they only needed that to nail the nurse saying she is the one that administered now what about the extra syringe found in mobad's room who brought it there the nurse said this is not from me and i'm sure if due diligence is done by the nigerian police they will be able to lift fingerprints from this and they know that she of course obviously they know that she's not the one if she says she's not and they have checked and they have asked where did this extra syringe come from how come they are holding on to the autopsy report how come they've not made it clear till today the cause of rip are they trying to evaluate are they trying to consider what to put out there and what not to put out there now let us go to the dna that is so troubling to a lot of people what this most what, one of the most respected legal luminaries in nigeria femi falano oh my god he has ridiculed himself on this he said according to what we heard let me even let, let, let us all look at it before i proceed on what he said does it uh, is it in the is it the right of a grandfather okay let me not use the word grandfather the father of a young man that passed away in a mysterious manner is it right for him is it legal for him to request for dna to ascertain if a child that he's going to call his grandchild a child that will be given his last name is it a crime for him to request for dna but according to this lawyer he's saying that Mobad's father does not have the right, that the only person that has the right to request for a DNA is Mobad. And now that Mobad is no more, case closed. Where is that done? That's called injustice. Lawyer Falano normally would never have done this, but we are beginning to see into, we are beginning to see into some of these, you know, people that we've respected over time. People have looked at their body of work. They say, oh, this person over time has shown himself this and that but look at what's happening now lawyer falano according to what we heard from what we saw from the from Obama's father from the from the release from their response from their statement they said Obama's father doesn't have the right if he doesn't have the right then that son name should be snatched erased off from liam it's like they are trying to shut Mubaz's father down. Like, you know what? You don't have access to DNA. You don't have access to nothing. Mubaz's revenue money is for the little boy and there's nothing you can do about it. This is injustice. This is injustice. And you heard what the prophet has said. That the judgment of God is going to stretch far. Even those that are covering up. It could be a lawyer. That the judgment is going to hit them hard. Drop your comment about this word. Justice for more bad. See you in the next update.